Well, hey there, fellas. Uh, this is Wade Rush, host of the BRO channel, and welcome to the BRO Reloading Bench. I've gotten tons of questions. One of my most common questions is, is buffer absolutely necessary? And uh, Wade, how did you develop your very first loads and stuff like that? Or how did you figure that out? Well, we're going to cover two bases here with that. We're going to talk about where it all started, how it all started, and uh, and the, the rounds that I put together a long, long time ago that first got it started are still very good and very effective today. And so we'll, we're going to put a couple together here and then Rachel and I are going to head down to the range with you whenever we whenever the weather will cooperate. And we'll show you how these non-buffered very first rounds that I ever developed a long, many, many years ago, how they still work out. Y'all stand by. Okay, well, this goes far enough back where Country Boy was just a young lad whenever he was first getting started and hunting whenever he was just 8, 9, 10 years old. Well, and whenever he took his, uh, he, uh, you guys, if you watch the videos, the Deer Dog Drive videos far enough back, you remember he had an old Revelation pump that he used for several years. He loved that old gun that it wore it out. <clears throat> but, uh, the very first rounds I put together for him were I had put together all that I had. I had a 31 cal, two uh, pellet black powder mold that I uh, first started out making two pellets at a time in 31 caliber. And I uh, put together some two and three quarter inch rounds that would work for him that patterned decently out of his um, out of his old revelation. As a matter of fact, I believe it was he was shooting. Uh, my hand loads whenever he took his very first deer on a dog drive. And I also put together um, a good effective three inch round 18 pellet 31 cal that was a great performer out of Captain Buster's um, tools as well as mine. So we're going to put one of each of those together and then I'll have several different variations of what worked out with us that Rachel and I will take down to the range at a later time and tag it into this video. Y'all stand by. The very first two and three quarter inch was just a dub. This is an old double A red hull here. And I was using Winchester primers, 209 primers. The Shaddai 209 are about the same thing. So that's what I've got here is the Shaddai. Let's get this thing primed up. And, uh, 32 grains of blue dot. I don't have, once again, I don't have a camera on the uh, the Hornady lock and load dispenser. I don't even think Hornady makes this machine anymore. Uh, I don't know what Hornady makes. They're not a sponsor. So I got this, uh, I got this powder dispenser four or five years ago and it's still working fine. Alrighty. But anyway, we need 32 of blue dot. Let me see, I need to get, got a Mark V over here. Thanks to Mr. Ken Lawson. I really appreciate you, buddy. That helps a lot. I got to trade out the uh, six um, fold spindex starter for the eight since we're dealing with the double A. All righty. We got our powder ready to go. Thirty-two of blue dot, and of course, the double A twelve, red wide, which is replaced. Double A no longer makes it, but Claybuster does. CB eleven thirty-eight dash twelve. That's the uh, part number for the uh, replacement wide there. <clears throat> Mr. Gary Kasky. This is one of his nudgers. Give it a good push. 
you want to make sure you don't hear any powder, no powder rattling, and we don't. And with the uh, 31 cal single alt, which is what I had, we put together a 12 pellet, 31 caliber load in this right here that worked really well out of the two and three quarter guns. Let me get a hold of some here. And guys, at that time, I never even thought about putting buffer in these loads. I knew that at that time, your ammo companies was putting buffer and all that in it, but I did not. When I first started and we were getting good performance out of these rounds without the buffer, but I had super hard, super hard pellets here. There were a lot of these that I had uh, was experimenting with the different um, with linotype. And I bet you some of these pellets were 10 or 12 percent linotype that I was putting together. They were gold colored. They had so much linotype in them. They were hard, super hard. These 31 cal will stack in here by threes here in this watt. Three. Easily. Let me see if the light will let you see that. And we're going to do that four times for 12 pellets. Three, six, nine, 12. Just under the crimp. And we want to get a, I'm going to take a 20 gauge overshot card and put in here. So the crimp, we don't get any over crimp on this thing. All righty. And can y'all see? Make sure. I got my little step up unit here from uh, Precision. This machine is set up for three inch. Twelve pellets of thirty-one caliber, and I used I I used the double A holes. I used the double A uh, the double A red, the double A gray, and the uh, gun club gun club both black and green gun old gun club that I used in this same load. We'll put some of these together and we'll take them down there to the range and show you. Alrighty, I'm gonna get a. Uh, Get things swung around, and we're going to get a, a three inch and put the three inch load together for you right now. All right, what we got here is a Remington Nitro Express. They're some of my favorite three inch. Um, about the only place I know you can find them right now is if, if Mr. Bill Calwas has got some in stock. Here's his email, and uh, I think there's a link to it also down in the description. Give him plenty of time, fellas. He's a one man operation, and he is wide open. And uh, so give him give him a little bit of time to answer your emails, okay? All righty. Like I said, I was using Winchester primers at the time, but the Shittite are pretty dang close. And it was the same charge, 32 grains of blue dot, because I had a charge bar, it was like a 2.8 cc charge bar, and I make machine, and that's what it was throwing. It was throwing, um, 32 grains of blue dot and that was all I had so yeah that's how that came about and I was looking up lead payload weight specs in the old Lyman manuals and stuff like that and that's what I was going by and that charge of powder fell well within specs all right When we get down to the range, I'll show you some of the other powder charges that work well in these loads. All righty. Yep, same CB 1138-12 wide. The old AA-12R is what this replaced.
I just push it till I feel the power piston uh, collapse on it a little bit. It is made to do that. It will spring, and you'll feel it. And it don't take don't take much, probably 15, 20 pounds of pressure, and you'll feel it. But anyway, that's when I stop. Now, 18 pellets by threes here. 31 cal, because that's what I started with. I didn't, I got a double alt mold like the next year to start playing around with, but that was back when Sharpshooter USA was uh, in full swing. Boy, I wish they'd come back. I like them a lot. I still got a bunch of their molds out there. You hear me, Rick? All right, by threes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, they'll find their own way. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Right to the bottom of the crimp. Don't get much simpler than this, fellas. Usually I did not need an overshot card, but you don't ever know me just eyeballing it. It looks like I might need, and I just use a 20 gauge overshot card. You could use, I've got some 12 gauge overshot cards laying here, but 20 gauge, 20 gauge is plenty good enough. All right, I took my little stud out of here, little riser tool, because I've actually got three inch here, and I've swapped back to the six fold. That's where it started, right there. Now I know you're anxious. We'll get down there just as quick as we can to uh, to get these to the range and show you how they work out of our tools. Alrighty, folks. And uh, in the next segment, we'll load up some uh, some of the double off that uh, we put together at the very beginning. Y'all take care. This is Wade Rush, host of the Bubble Round Free Outdoors channel, and we will see y'all on the next one.